I'm gonna show you how to rank up as quickly as possible in this brand new season, season 3. So at the start of a new season, we all go through a soft reset, which means lots of bad teammates, lots of terrible plays, and lots of anger. So you need to be prepared for some of the most annoying games you'll ever play, but remember that these soft resets can often teach you the most about this game, but only if you have the right mindset. And that's exactly what this video is for. I'm gonna go through every rank in Rocket League starting from Bronze to Supersonic Legend and show you the most important things you need to improve on if you wanna rank up. So make sure to watch all the way through without skipping because each rank can teach you things about your own rank even if you don't play in that rank, if that makes sense. And if you haven't already, please go down below, like the video, and subscribe to the channel with notifications. It really, really helps me out and it helps the YouTube algorithm so more people can benefit from watching this and hopefully that means there will be less bad teammates out there. Hopefully. Honestly, I don't even know why people are still bronzes, like, I swear, this rank is just a myth. Bronzes don't actually exist. They're just here to entertain us. And so for this rank, that's exactly what they're gonna do. So please enjoy this montage of some high rank bronze gameplay. Yeah, so technically silvers are better than bronzes, but let's be real, they're pretty much the same thing. Bronze or silver, just play the game more, learn to hit the ball at least 40% of the time, and you're basically guaranteed to rank up. And this goes for all ranks, but at the start of a new season, you might get into games with high ranked players because of the soft reset, but instead of complaining and blaming Psyonix for their shitty matchmaking, take this time as an opportunity to learn from the higher ranks and see what they're doing that you're not doing. Try to learn from better players by noticing what they do right and learn from worse players by noticing what they do wrong. So if you're in gold, you probably think that you're really good at this game, which is true if you ask a bronze. But for everybody else, you're what's known as trash. And that's because every rank after gold is also trash. So the sooner you realize you're trash, the sooner you'll get to those higher ranks, which are also trash, just in less amounts. So if you're gold, remember that you have nothing mastered and everything to learn. That means going out and learning any one specific thing is probably enough to get you to plat. So choose one thing about Rocket League and just go learn about it. That means searching it up on YouTube, watching tutorials, practicing in game, and just trying to master this one specific thing. Whether it's shadow defense, flicks, air dribbles, power shots, ground pinches, whatever it is you choose, practice it, learn it, and become obsessed with this one thing for at least a week and you're pretty much guaranteed to rank up. Alright, so now we gotta get more technical because the plats are very unique. If Rocket League ranks were a spectrum, Platinums would cover the entire spectrum, which means they have aspects of every single rank. You'll see plats whiffing just as often as bronzes, but then 10 seconds later they'll hit a freestyle double tap. And especially in this new season, you're gonna see plats that are all over the place. But the one thing you need to focus on as a plat is speed. Getting into Diamond is all about being faster. Faster to save shots, faster to hit shots, faster to make decisions, just faster in everything. So for the next two weeks, your focus should be on learning how to play faster. And there's lots of videos you can watch on YouTube that help with this, and it's probably the best thing you can do to reach Diamond. Diamond can be perfectly explained by this comment I got from Burnt Tamales. Diamond is like the purity stage of Rocket League. In Diamond, every player is now fast. Not consistent, but fast. There's still plenty of whiffs, bad commits, bad rotations. The only difference is that it's all done way faster than Platts. And to get to champ, it's not enough just to be fast, but you need to be good at being fast. So a soft reset can be especially frustrating for diamonds because if you get champ players in your lobby, it might seem like they're not even that good, but for some reason you keep losing to them. And it's because they may not be much faster than you, but they're way better at being fast. So for diamonds, it's all about getting consistent at being fast. So you need to practice your fundamentals at full speed. Just practice everything at full speed and you'll start to get more consistent doing 
this in real games. I suggest watching this video for some good drills to do when you're in free play. I'll leave a link to that down in the description. Champ players will probably have it the worst out of anybody. You're gonna run into a lot of high champs or even grand champs because of the soft reset, and this means they're probably gonna blame you for being a bad teammate, but just remember that this is a good opportunity to play at a higher skill level and learn from these better players. And the main thing that champ players need to rank up is once again increasing your speed, specifically when going up for shots. A lot of champs will take too much time when going up for an aerial, and if you want to reach grand champ, you have to start removing hesitation from your gameplay. You're either going for the ball or you're not, so any type of hesitation is only going to reduce your speed. Here's an example of a champ going up for an aerial. You can see there's a little hesitation when going up for the shot. Now here's an example of a grand champ going for an aerial. There's no hesitation and they're full boosting to reach the ball as fast as possible. Here you can see them side by side to really see the difference. And you can practice this in free play by hitting the ball around and trying to pre-jump every bounce while going supersonic. And it's very important you pre-jump for everything, even if you miss, but doing this will train your brain to think faster and go up with less hesitation in real games. Ranking up in Grand Champ can be summed up into three steps. And I know this because it's what I've been doing and it's the reason I was finally able to reach GC2 and hopefully GC3 in the next few months. So here are the three things you need to work on as a Grand Champ speed flips, boost management, and recoveries. Grand Champ is the rank where learning speed flips is actually necessary. And not just speed flips on a kickoff, but speed flips everywhere. You need to speed flip on your kickoffs, speed flip around the map, speed flip into shots, basically replace every type of flip with a speed flip. And this actually goes hand in hand with the next technique of boost management. Using speed flips around the map lets you save a lot of boost, which means you can stay in the play more often and going for big boost patterns becomes less of a priority. For me, the best way to practice this has been to turn off unlimited boost in free play and pretty much never turn it on again. It's gonna feel really weird at first doing your normal free play routines without unlimited boost, but pretty soon you'll learn how to move around the field primarily through small boost pads and use more speed flips to stay supersonic without using boost. And doing this was a huge reason I was able to get to GC2, so if you haven't done this yet, I would definitely recommend trying it. And the third technique is is to have smooth and flawless recovery. One big aspect of this is having good recovery after a first touch, which allows you to get a second touch much faster. For example, this shot right here, if I simply go for it without thinking about recovery, I can get a good first touch, but I can't really follow it up quickly. But if I am thinking about recovery, I can use a side flip, which would instantly land my car on the sidewall, making it easier to follow up for a second touch. Or if you really want to spice it up, you can use a right speed flip to land on the side wall even faster. And the better you get at using these three techniques together, the more you'll rank up and get closer to SSL. So for the Supersonic Legends, I brought in Spider RL, a top 100 player, to tell you guys what it takes to go from a low SSL to a top 100 player. So the thought process to get to top 100, playing to improve instead of playing to win, it's important to accept that you're going to lose a lot of games before ranking up and getting close to top 100, because like it's it's just important that you do not give up after losing uh, many games. That's, that's what it all comes down to, not giving up and pushing through to the next level. There's a huge skill gap between low SSL and top 100, but there is honestly no specific mechanic that will guarantee get you to the top 100 however if you uh, if i have to point out a few big differences first of all a very useful mechanic is certainly the air dribble bump i use air dribble bumps in all my once games if done correctly they are extremely hard to save uh, even in high top 100 and like top 10 like any level uh, air dribble bumps work very well it, it's it's just the best way to score sometimes like it's it's well not the best way to score but it's the easiest way to score in my opinion, against anyone. It's definitely a very important thing to learn. And then a few other big differences between SSL and Top 100 are being very efficient with your boost and never wasting it. And continuing to pressure your opponent, even with very little boost or no boost, is also very important to make sure you don't leave any space for him to set up a shot. But like overall, consistency is still the most important thing. You need to be an all around good player and be extremely consistent in every aspect of Rocket League. You need to master your decision making, mechanics, boost management, and defense if you want to make it into the Top 100. And doing that takes a lot of grinding. Thank you.